My name is Kelby Warner, and I'm the intern here at Wiper Lake United Methodist Church. As I've been working here, I've had the honor to meet and chat with a lot of the people who work and worship here. Um, and I'd love if you join me on some of these conversations as me and a few of your fellow church members discuss church history and the church's mission. Today, I'm going to sit down and talk with Joan Hartman, and we're going to discuss the church's youth and children's ministries. Now, Joan Hartman is the Next Generations Minister here at White Bear Lake United Methodist Church, and it's her job to make sure that the kids have a fun environment that's also good for spiritual growth. And from what I've seen, she does a great job. So without further ado, here's Joan. Why don't you start by introducing yourself? Uh, who are you and what's your role here at White Bear Lake? Uh, my name is Joan Hartman, and I am the uh, Next Generation Minister. Um, and I have been um, played a role with White Bear Lake United Methodist Church off and on for about 15 years. Cool. Cool. So, so what's uh, what's the youth and children's ministry like here at White Bear Lake? Uh, we have a great program because we have great families. We have families that join us on Sunday morning. We have families that are with us um, Wednesday evenings. We have families that join us for. Um, camps we go and we go to two different camps and we also have families that are with us for our pizza events and our uh, just fel youth fellowship events so um, our families really plug in um, where it works for them and every year that can sort of change depending on what their schedule is so I like to think that we have a program that meets a lot of people's needs and we're flexible as their needs um, change from year to year how did you get involved with youth and children's ministry? Um, that's a great question. I, uh, about 20 years ago, knew that I wanted to um, try some things outside of teaching. I started out as a high school teacher. And so I was on my way trying a few different careers. And um, my Sunday school teacher called me up and said, we are short on Sunday school teachers and it is your turn. <laughs> And so I didn't, there was no way I was going to say no to that. <laughs> so I showed up and I taught a few lessons and I realized how much fun that style of teaching is to really, um, where your primary goal is connecting with the kids and sharing Christ's love and um, reminding them that church is a great place to be and people are excited to to be with them at church. So that was, uh, I got back into Sunday school teaching and then eventually there was a um, education job open and I thought, well, I'll try, I told them, I said, I'll give you two years and it's been, it's been almost 21 years. <laughs> Funny how that happens. Yeah. What does youth and children's ministry mean to you? Why, why do you think that it's important? Um, I think it is, important because it is such a unique um, opportunity for kids and youth and their families. Um, it is, I started doing some substitute teaching this past spring and I'm reminded that in the public schools your job is to teach the subject matter yeah. and um, obviously show the kids warmth and um, friendship but you're really there to to teach you're really you really have academic goals and here in the church the goal is almost the reverse so our goal is to be as inclusive as possible and to remind them with how we act and what we learn about here that we are here to be in relationship with each other and with god so what's your favorite part of leading youth and children's ministry? Um, my favorite part about leading any sort of program is that um, we can make it really fun and that's a high value to make it someplace where not only kids should go but kids want to be here. So that could be high octane minute to win it games, it could mean a really fun cooking project, it, um, it usually means a lot of crafts. And a lot, we take time to do things that they just don't have time to do, usually at home or um, at school. So I think that that is really what makes this, this church so 
great to be at that we have a high value also on change. So this church also encourages things to keep evolving. And so in that way, we're really ready to meet the, um, to meet where kids are at right now. So where kids are at right now during a pandemic is very different than where they were three years ago. And because we have the freedom here and the support, and by support, I mean, we have staff support. We have um, a nice budget to be able to do projects that cost more or take more time. And here it's a high priority and um, we're able to do all those fun things with kids. How can people who want to get involved get involved? How can they volunteer? Um, just reach out, reach out to me or Bill or Christine, and um, I'll contact you. We have a lot of spots. I know several years ago, I always think about where my mother was as a Sunday school teacher. She was the three-year-old Sunday school teacher for about ten years. <laughs> um, you know, and she was there every single Sunday. Now. You know, fast forward to how many years later, we have teachers that are here once a month, either on Sundays or Wednesdays. We have volunteers who come and just help out at events. You just wanna be a food person or you wanna help with rides. We also have people who show up maybe one day of the year to talk about their passions. So it doesn't need to be an ongoing um, commitment. It can be, like I said, it could be that every week, it could be every, could be once a month to really form those long um, friendships and and sort of grow into your faith with the students or it could be a one time here's what I'm working on let me share my passion and learn about how this affects you thank you so much for joining us today I hope you enjoyed our conversation just as much as I did if you have any further questions about the church's history or its mission or feel called to get involved somehow, please feel free to contact us. Also, to keep up to date with all things Wiper Lake United Methodist Church, be sure to follow us on our socials and to check our website. So with all that said, I hope to see you next time.